Hello Active Traders and welcome to our premiere episode of Games of Traders. Winter is coming. Actually, winter is here. And we've got fun around here. You know, instead of dire wolves for pets, we've got dire Shih Tzu. Hi Traders, in this brand new video series, you're going to be learning how to avoid some of the tricks of the trade that market makers and other professional traders use to separate you retail traders from your hard-earned money. This tip in this particular episode is what I call sweeper orders and that's basically where you've got an order flow that spikes up quickly on the opening bell and then immediately crashes back down. Now this is different than a false breakout which is usually more sustained. This is a very quick kind of like a flash crash, an instant set of orders that run up into a new high just enough to get new traders orders filled and then immediately crashes right back down again and one of the things that you want to do as a trader is beware of that and to help protect yourself against that I've got a couple of tips let me give you one other example Kroger's did it and there is two unfortunately I avoided getting faked out uh, this morning in this kind of instrument uh, JD is another one that had a really quick flash to the upside and then quickly crashed right back down again. And often it leaves us, uh, I know if your experience is anything like mine, it leaves you scratching your head wondering, well, what the heck happened? It was starting to look so good and then it immediately flashed up and flashed right back down again. Almost as if they had it in for you. And they do. Uh, so one of the tricks of the trade to avoid that particular market maker shenanigan is to use a false breakout filter that's somewhere above the obvious area and unfortunately there's no easy way to just use math and figure it out I like to usually go on a minimum of 20 cents above a whole number so that kept me out of trouble today uh, just barely right but uh, they flashed orders up to around 3119 and dropped so what I'm trying to communicate is beware of orders on the open especially uh, and they can occur at other times of the day too uh, but if you've wondered why an order quickly, it's like the order book quickly flashes up and then crashes back down again, that's because of what I call market maker sweeper orders. And that's well, where they'll put out order flow enough to get in enough traders uh, very quickly and then suddenly sit on the ask so, so firmly with so much size that it immediately drops the share price, instantly stopping everyone out. So that's something to be aware of. I like to cover these and other tips in my tradingtheopen.com live room and hopefully help us stay clear of that. But there's a lot more uh, tips coming in terms of how to hopefully stay clear of market maker shenanigans and other problematic uh, things that can cause the stop losses. But that's one that I, I thought I'd cut. It's called a, a sweeper order and that's where you get these. Th if you ever see thin tails, that's kind of like the, the clue where it's a very quick flash, less than a minute, but it's enough to stop people out enough to get people in and they sit on the ask and stop people on out then buy off the lows and sell to traders on the way back up again and all the rest of it so if you're gonna make it as a trader you have to know these kind of things going into it eyes wide open ahead of time because they're very crafty it's what they do for a living and so they've gotten very professional at it now, fortunately for you and thousands of the other world's traders uh, I can help uh, help you not only detect and uh, be able to hopefully sidestep those but also do well in the markets in spite of it. The last thing you want to look at is time and sales. And I'll be doing expanded coverage of time and sales in the live room but using your tape is one way to detect uh, whether it's dark pools or uh, how to say incoming order flow or uh, uh, iceberg orders or the rest of it. There's a lot of uh, order flow information in the tape in terms of trades going off at the bid or the ask, the, the width of the spread, the average share size versus blocks that go off in the tape, the imbalance between bids and ask and sizes, and the rest of it. And those types of things, understanding firmly how to use tape reading, is just one of the solutions to help avoid getting faked out by those uh, kind of flash in the pan sweeper trades that you see so often. So, anyways, until next time. 
I'm Ken Calhoun from TradeMastery.com, wishing you the best for success in your trades. And that's not all. You'll be learning more about market maker tricks and traps and how to avoid them when it comes to putting on your trades, whether it's through use of tape reading or the one minute candlestick charts or other advanced techniques designed for today's active traders. Our Games of Traders is designed to keep you on the right side of your trade so you don't have a big slice taken off a PC or trading account. We look forward to working with you in this brand new final season. Best wishes for success in your trades. See you next time.